So this first one here, we're going to spray it down with some PB Blaster. I'm just going to let it sit in there for now for like five minutes. And then I'm going to get an Allen key for this one. Well, since today's kind of a down day, it's time to fix some tools. This first one is a Mac Ratchet, and it has been broken. It used a snipe on it. This is a fine tooth ratchet, and it didn't quite survive the snipe. The second ratchet has been one that's been sitting outside. It's got moisture in it, and it's all rusty, so it doesn't really function properly. You can still use it, but it's very stiff trying to shift it over and stuff. So I'm going to show you how to fix this one, and we're going to fix the other one. So let's get started. I do it so you can kind of see without my hand in the way. I kind of remember how it goes, like this little little clip that goes in the middle there. And you can see when I pull it out that the gear has been chipped. But the inside piece is good. That sucker is what ruined the day. So now I got my rebuild kit from Mac. First things first, I'm gonna put this in there. And we're gonna put that in there. Now we need to put the spring in there. You kind of have to hook, I'll show you in a bit, so let's get the screw back in. Now it should work. Uh, except I tighten it down too much. I gotta back it out about a quarter of a turn. So here we are. This one's fixed. It's my favorite ratchet too because it's got all these different angles on it for those tight places. Except it's not very strong. Now the problem is with this one here, and I'm going to show you. So I got it together and it's got that heart shaped and on the bottom of the dial it's got that pin. So when you insert it, in order for it to work to go back in, you have to try to hook that spring so that when you turn it, it goes back and forth like that and it can move that little piece around but it is kind of a dirty cock sucker it takes a little bit of practice to get her in there but it's in now we're back to this one here that we've had soaked in PB blaster and it's being stubborn so this one has a ring around it and you need a, like a little screwdriver There you go. So you need to pop that ring off. Pull this one out. And you can see this lever is like really stuck. So I'm going to spray this out with brake cleaner. Now you see that mechanism starting to work now. So now I'm going to give it a shot of PB Blaster. As soon as you put the PB Blaster in, it's like magic. It starts to free it right up. So now I'm going to grease the shit out of these gears. So 
Sazonneur. Perfect. That one's fixed too. That pretty much sums up that. This Mac Tools ratchet, like I said, is my favorite ratchet of all time. It's like very fine tooth and it works great for working on stuff like being able to move it around like that, the ratchet shit, makes a big difference. However, don't put any kind of serious torque on this because you'll fucking break it. But at least it's got lifetime warranty. I just got to send the parts back to Mac and they'll either refund me or give me a spare kit and I'll just get a spare kit that I'll throw in the hoard and lose with everything else. Anyways, I'm going to leave the video at that. Remember, don't throw your ratchets away. Most of them, if they are brand name, can be repaired or fixed. So keep that in mind. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.